so just a little insert before i start this video i literally did not do it the horizontal way that i usually do it so it's square it's like a little shorter um just bear with me i don't know how i forgot to do that sorry guys hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is damara today i'm going to bring forth the word of god and today we're going to talk about judging i did this bible study about two weeks ago with my family and um, my church family and so i usually do like five minute devotions and i haven't done one in a while so i thought this would be an amazing bible study to do and today we're just going to talk about judging so i have my bible right here and then i also have some notes on my phone so you guys just please bear with me um i hope that you guys like my channel but with that being said we're going to go ahead and go right into it also check out my shirt trust god and chill how cute is that and then this necklace my mother-in-law got me um this was from my degree i graduated with a bachelor's degree in psych psychology minor in child advocacy and this is my graduation present from her so i love that okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is read matthew chapter 7 1 through 6 and so we're going to go ahead and read that right here. So the title of this section is called Judging and Being Judged. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye shall meet and shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou that mote that is in thy brother's eye? Be considerate, not the beam that is in thy own eye. Or how wilt thou say to my brother, let me pull out the mote of my own eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. So guys what does judging mean when i go to google and i type in judging definition it says to form an opinion or conclusion about judging is a sin there are many sins that god talks about in the bible but judging is definitely one of them when i think about judging i think of looking at someone and saying oh they should not be doing this or they shouldn't be wearing that but who am i to sit there and say that those things are not right a good example of what i'm saying is if i'm in church and a visitor comes in and she's wearing an extremely short dress a short skirt um cleavage out and i'm like Ew, like who does she think she is like this is god's house and why is she coming in here like that for one that may be all that she has to wear another thing is that god tells us to come as we are i do believe that we should help them and we should tell them i do think that another thing is we can be an example to them so if she sees me wearing long skirts and no cleavage and you know just being modest in church she'll eventually pick up on that i don't think that we should judge and, and to me that is what judging is is basically looking at someone else and having an opinion and saying that is not right and there are things that god says in the bible that we know that are not right like for instance having sex before marriage cursing um being racist like those are things that are not of god and so yes i think that we can tell these people that but god is the ultimate judge at the end of the day when he comes back and at the end of the day when we stand before him with our sins it's going to be me and god it's not going to be me and someone else and god knows everything that we do he knows that when we judge someone and he does not like that he tells us not to judge it says in seven verses one it says judge not that ye be not judged the only judge is god himself so i'm going to read something really quick um i really 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 love this bible study so 
I'm just gonna read this really quick. Do not judge, do not be the judge. Do not use your own opinions and thoughts and standards to judge others. God is the judge. God is the one who decides what is right and wrong and not you. This means you should not use your own ideas to judge people. For example, you should not judge someone for drinking a cup of wine or beer. You should not judge someone for sending their child to private school instead of homeschooling and etc. The second thing is, what I just said, and this is like kind of confirmation from this study, it says, it does not mean that you should tolerate or turn a blind eye to other people's sin. God is a judge and not you. Meaning, if I see someone and I see that they're doing wrong, it's okay to sit there and say, hey, like, you know, God tells us not to do these things and these things are not right. But I can't, I think it's something different than telling someone. And when you tell that person, you have to let God help them. You can't tell them it's almost like you're planting the seed so if you tell them you can't continue to judge them oh they should have done this they should have done that they should have listened to me no once you tell them you have done god's part in telling them but then you have to let god continue to take control of that situation you have to let god um minister to them and help them and change their hearts and things that that are not pleasing to him and so it says it right here um, therefore you can tell other people to follow God's standards or correct them when they do not. This means that use the clear standards in the Bible and not your own standards, ideas, or opinions. It's not about you. It's all about God and his word. And so that is the most important thing. It is not about what we think. It's about what God thinks. But I think it's a, it's, it's definitely a line between telling someone, um, this is right or this is wrong and then judging them. Um, I think that everyone including myself I you know it's hard to not like look at someone and be like oh you know you just have to say I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and I'm not going to think that about that person because who am I like who am I to sit there and say that I'm better than somebody else or who am I to sit there and say that they could go to hell for doing this we sin every day I'm not perfect I sin every day and if I was perfect then I would not be here and neither you or neither your family or neither your friends or your co-workers like none of us are perfect and so that's why god died on the cross for our sins is because he knew that this was going to be an imperfect life that we had and so i think that it's very important that we grasp the understanding of judging and that you know um another thing that i just kind of want to end with i this is supposed to be a five minute devotion but i know it's going to be a little bit longer so just bear with me i think that it's really good um but another thing is that you can also pray for that person pray for that person and just ask god to just open their hearts open their minds when you know something is not right um just ask god to just intervene and so when you do that you just have to let God continue and to let God intervene in that situation. It's a learning process. I'm not perfect, like I said. I have judged. I'm sure that you have too. So it is something that we just can't do and that we have to ask God to cleanse our hearts and to help us to not do that with others. And so I hope that you guys truly enjoy this. I have to do more of these and I'm not sure if I have a gossiping one, but I feel like that is a really, really, really good one um, to do next. So I hope you guys like this short study of judging. Read Matthew 7, 1 through 6 for yourself. It's in here. It's right here. And I hope that you guys have a blessed day and I love each and every one of you. Um, and... I shall see you later.